All right, guys. So here's the full review of the Pagani design, not Pagani, PG1675. Doesn't really matter which one you use. They're basically the same. They're pretty much interchangeable. So Pagani, Pagani, whatever. Anyway, so this is the Seiko Churn Ramage. I've previously done an unboxing and first impressions of this, and now this is the full review, like I say. So I've been trying it out for just over a week, and let's see what I thought. So here it is. And if you haven't seen the unboxing of this one already, I'll leave a link to that up here if you want to check that out first, because they have actually upgraded the packaging on these recent Paganis, or at least some of them, because I've got a couple of the new ones, and I've done unboxings of both. You've probably seen the review of the previous one to this, depending on which order I get them out. If not, just check out my channel. I've got playlists for AliExpress watches, and then a separate one for all the other watches that I review. Mainly micro brands with a couple of other bits and pieces scattered in. So you should hopefully find something you like. But getting back to this one. I'm absolutely loving this. Out of the two recent Paganis, or in this case Pagernis, that I've received. I'm, I'm rather smitten with this. I've been wearing this a bit more than the other one. Because I just love that blue. The way it plays with the light. The dial and the bezel. And then those little gilt, well not gilt little silver bits around the indices and on the hands everything just catches the light really nicely just looks great i think so seeing as we're talking about it let's get a zoom in on the dial so we've got the pagani design at the top not pagani but it's basically the same thing i know some people have been asking what is the difference as far as i can tell it's to do with copyright issues and trademark and stuff so they've brought out this other brand to be able to get around that in certain areas and they use these watches instead of the Pagani design ones. I could be wrong with that. If anybody does know for certain, let us know down in the comments. So anyway, getting back to it. Got the automatic just above the six, water resistant 300 meters. So this is something that came up in the unboxing. A few people left comments saying, is it actually 300 meters with having a display case back? And that is a fair point. It's pretty unlikely to be fair that this is 300 meter water resistance. I'd say it's probably more like 100, 200 tops. But we'll get onto that as we test out the sapphire crystal in bits and pieces and see if we can get into exactly what it's going to be. So, seeing as we zoomed in, let's talk about this bezel as well. So, in fact, I'll zoom back out so you can see a bit better. It's 120 click, and I do like the action on this. Absolutely rock solid. No play in it at all. Unlike the other Pagani that I reviewed, the, I can't remember the actual model number now off the top of my head, but I'll probably leave a link to it up here if I've already done the review. If not, that'll be coming out after this one. But the bezel action on that one was a little bit, if you've seen the unboxing, wasn't great. But this one, it's really nice, and it lines up perfectly as well. And it is a ceramic insert on that, and a really nice one too. And then we've got that semi-shrouded bezel, in the tuner style. And then we've got the Bagoni logo there, and then these rivets to be able to Take off this shroud, I think. Not actually tried it yet. Might try it at some point. But I actually quite like the way it looks as it is. So, you probably saw you got an NH35 in the back of this. So I'll quickly show you that in action. Unscrew it with this really nice grippy crown. Pop it out once, then you've got the date function. Pop it out again. Just move the hands, just move them out of the way. Pop it back in and then I'll change the date and show you that. So it's all working perfectly fine. And obviously pull it at the second position, second hand stops because you've got hacking. And then pop it back in, screw it back down, or obviously wind it if you want to hand wind it. So no issues with that. 
and it is slightly recessed into that case as well which is nice so it doesn't stick out too much because if they had the full thing sticking out I think that would be too much because it is a rather large crown so getting onto the strap in fact let's talk about the buckle first quickly so you've got the branding on there as well it is quite nicely finished nice little chamfered polished edge which is always good and then with this strap it's really soft really supple really comfortable and with the design of it it'll actually stretch a bit so if you get a bit hotter during the day that's probably going to stretch so you might not even need to adjust it but obviously if you need to you've got plenty of adjustment there so you should be able to get the perfect size So now let's get onto the measurements. So we've got a thickness of about 14.5. The listing, strangely enough, actually says it's 15. So it's actually slightly slimmer than they're saying, which is interesting. Now with the diameter, I'm not really sure where they're measuring this from, but as you can see, I get it to well, 47. They're claiming it's 45. I don't really know how they're getting that measurement. Because even if I... Well, yeah, there's just no way it's 47. Or if anything, it might be a touch bigger. 47.3, 0.2, something like that. But it's definitely not 45. Got a lug width of 22. Lug to lug of just over 46. But with this brace... Well, sorry, this rubber strap... It is actually a touch bigger than that. Coming in more like just under 49. So something to be aware of. But obviously if you swap the strap out for something that isn't as flared as this, it'll wear a bit smaller. So now let's check out whether we've got sapphire crystal. Using the trusty diamond select tool. And yep, yeah, we have got a sapphire crystal. Quickly flick it over. Check out that back. So as I suspected, yep, yeah, it is just mineral crystal. So that claimed 300 meter water resistance is pretty likely not going to be right at all. It's more likely to be in line with most other Paganis, I think. At 100, possibly 200 a push. But definitely not three. So again, something to bear in mind. With AliExpress specs and stuff, with their watches, they can always be a little bit hit and miss, which is why us reviewers try and get these out and test things out. Obviously I can't really test that, but again, just bear in mind, with it having mineral crystal on the back, it's probably not gonna be 300 meters water resistant. But as you'll find out now, there's something else that's probably gonna affect that anyway. So let's check out the loom. So we've got a little bit lighting up there already, but as always, let's charge it up, give it a proper chance. And there we go. Now you can see the other issue. So you're not going to be taking this dive in because it doesn't actually have a loom pip. So you can't actually use that bezel to time anything. Which is a little disappointing. But that being said, it's good to see that the loom on this one, unlike the other previous Paganis I've reviewed, isn't two-tone. I do quite like that. Although, 
it isn't the brightest. From my testing, it it lasts a bit better than the cheaper Paganis. Again, not by a great deal, but it's a step in the right direction, I guess. So it's faded a little bit now, but it stays at this kind of level a decent amount of time. Is it the brightest? No. Is it the longest lasting? No. But it's usable. And as always, it's slightly brighter than the camera is showing, so when you're actually looking at it in person, it is a little bit brighter than this. And again, it stays at that kind of level a decent amount of time. But again, you're not going to be taking it diving because of the couple of issues we mentioned, the lack of loom pip and the mineral crystal on the back. So all that's left to do now is show it on wrist and wrap things up. So this is what it looks like on my seven inch wrist. And as I say, this strap is really, really comfortable. Really liking that. And really liking the watch overall. Obviously it's pretty chunky, but you expect that with it being a tune homage. But as tune homages go, I think it is a really good looking one. Especially this blue colour version. They have other colours as well. But again, as always, links will be down in the description if you do want to pick one up or check them out. A couple of little disappointing, well, not disappointing, slightly, well, slightly disappointing, I guess, yeah. <laughs> I wish it had a loom pip on it. A little bit strange they put 300 meters water resistance because it's obviously not going to be that with the mineral crystal back but again with it not having a loom pip you're not going to be going diving in it realistically anyway so is it that big a deal no probably not i have interest how many of you guys actually take your dive watches diving i'd like to know let us know down in the comments below but that's it for this one guys thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one